Hi there, my name's Paulie and welcome to Does Wood Affect Electric Guitar Tone Part 3. In this episode we're going to have a look at a paper published by the University of Madrid in 2005. The paper's called Acoustics of Wood. The paper contains several equations and the odd graph or two. There's a link in the description to the PDF file from the uh, university's website. After we have a look at the paper, I'm going to do a couple of experiments to see what coupling, if any, there is acoustically between the strings and the body of the guitar. So hang around and uh, we'll have a look at that paper now. So let's check it out. Here we have the title. Next we have the introduction. Acoustical parameters, stress wave propagation in 1D and 3D, stress wave velocity relationship with MOE, MOR, density and fibre length, practical applications, evaluation of urban trees, defect detection, wood selection for musical instruments. Next, the acoustic parameters of wood are sound velocity, acoustic impedance, damping and logarithmic decrement. Now this is where things get really interesting. This is the real mathematics behind the acoustics of wood and possibly the acoustics of an electric guitar. And hopefully I can follow this up and we'll see whether any of this is applicable to an electric guitar in an experiment shortly after this presentation. So as you can see the waveforms that travel through wood are longitudinal or pressure waves, transverse or shear waves and surface waves. And if you look down here you'll see that MOE stands for modulus of elasticity. G is the shear modulus and V is the Poseidon ratio. And if you look up here in the equation, all of those things appear there. And it says that a stress wave is a mixture of three waveforms. So this could really be our equations that prove or disprove the effect of wood on electric guitar tone. Let's continue on. Here we have a graph that shows the attenuation in dB per metre. And if you have a look, wood's up the top and it's a wide textured area which indicates that there are a range of frequencies that will be attenuated with various pieces of lumber or types of lumber. And if you have a look at the area below 1 kilohertz, the attenuation is around 1 dB per metre. And then if you have a look at around the 10 kilohertz mark, it approaches 10 dB per metre. So it indicates that the higher the frequency, the greater the attenuation. It also indicates that the more dense a material is, the lower the attenuation actually is. Because, well, rock and coal are definitely denser than every wood that you can imagine and their attenuation is down below 1 dB for the most part until you get up into 1 megahertz range. Here we have some equations for acoustic impedance and if you look down on the left hand side there you'll see which figures the parameters of wood occupy in the equation. Now there's a lot of other material in this paper and I'll leave a link to it in the description so you can check it out for yourself and study it at your own leisure. But next we've got to get on with the experiments. We've got to see whether these acoustic properties of wood actually do or can have an effect on the tone of an electric guitar. So let's get to it. So in this experiment we're going to see whether we can hear the acoustic energy in the body of the guitar. I know that a lot of people can feel it, they felt a guitar as it's being strummed and you can feel the thing vibrating, but let's actually hear it 
in some fashion. And then we'll see if that energy can actually make it back to the strings. So to do this test I've got a microphone. I'll turn it on. We're using a JCM2000 TSL60 on the clean channel, gains on 12 o'clock and the volumes on 12 o'clock. One, two. It's not that loud because microphones don't have the kind of output that uh, guitars do. So here's the control. One, two. And we'll put it... So you can hear that. So some of that acoustic energy is travelling through the body of the guitar and getting picked up by the microphone. So let's do the same thing with another guitar with a completely different body material. Okay, I haven't changed anything, just guitars. We've got this plexiglass guitar or acrylic guitar. Also, in a subsequent video, I will be doing some spectral analysis and a blind A-B test for you. So stay tuned for that. But let's get on with this experiment. So we'll do the control. One, two. We'll strum the guitar as a control with no mic. Then we'll put the mic on. Sounds like the vibrations from the string do make it to the body, but do they make it back again? This is the question. Okay, in this experiment, we're going to use this tuning fork and see if we can transfer energy from the tuning fork into the body of the guitar and then into the strings for the pickups to hear. The amp is set up exactly the same as it was in the previous experiment, and I'll play a couple of chords for you to hear it. Now, I'll turn the volume down on the guitar so you can hear the effects of the tuning fork on the guitar acoustically. Then I'll turn the volume back up and you can hear it from the amp. So I don't know whether you can hear that, but it, I can just kind of hear it there. Okay, we'll turn the volume up on the guitar and we'll repeat the process. And it's definitely the strings. It's not microphonic pickups. Now it isn't a great signal, but it is there. So let's do the same experiment with the plexiglass guitar. Okay, I haven't changed anything, so let's repeat the process with this acrylic guitar. First of all, I'll let you hear it acoustically, then I'll play a couple of chords so that you can hear that level, and then we'll let the tuning fork make the strings resonate. There it is, acoustic. Okay, we'll turn the volume up. Doesn't sound as loud. It's still there. but it's very quiet. Mm, interesting. So hopefully what I've shown with these couple of very simple experiments is that the acoustic energy or the vibrations of the strings can actually make it into the body of an electric guitar. 
and then potentially make it back out and back to the strings. So, under that premise, it is possible that the acoustic properties of the wood may affect the tone of an electric guitar and make our equations valid to the electric guitar. But more needs to be done. I'd like to do some spectral analysis on some various materials and swap a few parts around on a, on a couple of guitars to kind of control the experiment a lot more. Also I'd like to do some blind AB testing. So if you'd like to join me on this journey or continue on with me on this journey to find out if wood really does affect electric guitar tone, please hit that subscribe and don't hesitate to share and like this video if you like it. To the truth, have a good day. Thank you.